Hello, I'm Rafal K. Stepien, and I'm Assistant Professor in Comparative Religion within the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies at Nanyang Technological University. That's RSIS at NTU. I'm also the Deputy Coordinator of the MSc in Asian Studies program. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, interest in Asian, in Asian studies has been growing as political developments in the region take a new turn and the economic strength of Asia continues to grow. On the political front, many Asian states are experiencing profound historical transitions accompanied by numerous uncertainties. Economically, the vast majority of countries in the region continue to grow exponentially, meaning that the region will continue to become an economic powerhouse globally. Moreover, in the security arena, many potential flashpoints remain, including in the South China Sea, the Taiwan Strait, the Korean Peninsula, as well as with issues associated with resource scarcity, environmental degradation, and of course, the rising influence of religious fundamentalism. At the heart of the region, lie concerns associated with the emergence of China as a global powerhouse, the emergence also of India, the increasing assertiveness of Japan, and the developing role of the United States. Now, all of these issues will have profound implications and are of unquestionable importance to many professional uh, trajectories that intersect Asian studies. The MSc in Asian Studies program at RSIS provides students with the tools needed not only to understand these developments, but to become active participants within them. The MSc program is empirically driven and area-centric. While remaining intensely interdisciplinary, the program places strong emphasis on a range of specific issues and topics. That means that you can choose to tailor your program of study to your own interests. Thus, students may choose to focus on specific countries or sub-regions, or to develop extensive expertise in one area of interest. To further these ends, we offer thematic specializations in comparative politics, in international security, and in interreligious conflict and peace building. We also offer literally scores of primary and elective courses. These range from topics of general application to global affairs, such as comparative political economy, global governance, international human rights law, and others. Other courses focus on specific issues or regional players, such as US-China relations, Japanese foreign policy, or security governance in Asia. Within Asian studies, students may also opt to take specialized coursework that will confer not only an MSc from NTU, but also a certificate in the comparative study of religions in plural societies. This is issued by the Studies in Interreligious Relations in Plural Societies program, the SRP, of which I myself am a member. There, I offer two courses, Asian Religions, Interreligious Relations and Conflict, and the other, Encountering Religions in Plural Societies, Comparative and Contrastive Perspectives. All in all then, the MSc in Asian Studies program at RSIS encompasses scholarship on the arts, literatures, histories, religions, political systems, security issues, social trends, and cultures of Asia. Of course, our location within RSIS means that strategic and security issues remain always at the fore. So, for example, within my own field, we study not religious studies, but interreligious studies in plural societies. This also explains why, under this program, students are instantly connected and attuned to the latest developments, with ample opportunities to meet diplomats, policymakers, and prominent Asian specialists from think tanks, nonprofit organizations, and universities throughout the world. Thank you.